name's Ross Cullen and I'm a 22 year old professional BMX athlete. So I started BMX when I was seven years old, um, came from a family that loved cycling. My mum or dad or anyone in the family were never professional, never did any racing. Um, but just, just that I love for it and then I think from then on it progressed into club races, regional races in a, within four years I'd competed at my, my first world championship so it was quite a, quite a quick start to be fair. So in my eyes Preston Pirates BMX Club has actually been the best club in Britain for a few years. Um, the coaching structure they've got there is absolutely unreal and they're really good at bringing kids up to the level they need to be and introducing new families to it. Um, I think it's a great sport and you should check it out, especially if you're into cycling. So I used to always love just going out riding my bike, doing some skills work, but now as a professional you've, you've got to do a little bit more in the gym, a little bit more start stuff, which I absolutely love doing. Um, I think on the bike I love doing starts, I love the power aspect to it, changing the gear, doing some big gear starts, always good fun. Um, and in the gym, I think I love squatting, uh, there's something to it that now you get a little bit older you start enjoying building a bit more muscle and getting more powerful, um, so the, the whole thing about training is absolutely great. So I think as a BMX racer and probably a general cyclist, a big obstacle and a big problem is crashing and injuries. Um, we're, we're quite used to hitting the deck and if you go through a year without a serious injury, you've been lucky and you've had a good one. Um, I think that especially this year the main thing had a few smaller crashes mid-year but a few niggles with knees and shoulders that didn't help so I think it's just overcoming them and letting them heal properly before I got back to racing is, is one of the most important things for longevity in sport. So my main goal coming up especially for next year is to be at the Paris Olympics. Um, it was great being in Tokyo as a reserve but this time I'm, I'm hungry to get on the start line. Um, I'm going to do all I can and, and hopefully meet selection. But in the meantime, next year I want to retain my top eight world ranking. Um, that was a, a really positive part of this year was, was becoming sixth in the world. It's absolutely great. So I'll retain the top eight world ranking and try and get on the start line in Paris would be absolutely great. So I think more recently, I've noticed and I think people notice that BMX and probably cycling as a whole is in my eyes as much mental as it is physical you can have the strongest and fastest legs in the world but if you haven't got a head for it you're probably not going to perform um, so recently I've been doing a lot more mental training and um, a lot of visualization and I enjoy watching stuff back and understanding and learning from more from my mistakes than what's good it's always nice watching a good race but you learn more from your bad races um, so yeah, I think mentally there's a lot that goes into it, but it's all part of the game. I think my favourite riding spot BMX wise is actually in the UK, it's in Glasgow. Um, it helps I perform there every time we've had a race, but there's something about that track, it's just it's just really technical, really deep, and I've always enjoyed every camp and race we've done there. Um, it's just a solid facility in my eyes. I just wish the weather was a little bit better. We don't get to go up there too much in winter because it's, it's probably unridable. Um, but yeah, if Scotland can sort the weather out, I think we'll be up there a lot more. So I think in not only as an athlete, but I think as a human, nutrition is really key. Um, people think you only have to really focus on it if, if you're striving for something. But in my eyes, everyone should be looking after the nutrition. Um, Food is fuel at the end of the day, so whatever you put in your body is what you're going to get out. So I think if you're really struggling, you don't have an idea, you can seek professional help by a nutritionist, but equally there's enough information on the internet today, you can just quickly search up on your phone, make sure you're getting the right proteins, your, your macros, your carbs, everything, just, just make sure you're at the right levels, and I think you're, uh, you'll be a lot happier at the end of the day. Like I said, if you put better fuel in the car, it's going to go faster. Think of that with your body. If you eat better, you're going you're gonna to be a much better person. So I think I have an, a quite broad sponsorship and the people that have helped me over the years and still do, um, probably too many to name, but an important one today, the ones that don't go notice, for example, is Merlin Cycles. They provided me with, as you can see in the background, a beautiful gravel bike that has helped with my commute to training over winter. Um, and a little bit comfier than a road bike I was on. Um, it's been absolutely key and, and part of my success for sure. So when I'm not riding, um, I enjoy sitting and watching Netflix most days because I'm absolutely wiped out and resting is key. But when I'm not doing that, I, I enjoy shooting videos. I, I create content for a few 
a few friends and, and family members for a bit of a laugh um, and I've got a real eye and enjoy filming and taking pictures. If you want to check that out, you can check out RC Visuals on Instagram. Um, it's in my bio on my Instagram page as well.